Parmigiano Reggiano is an Italian cheese. It has been produced for 900 years using artisanal methods with additives and preservatives with long aging, long milk, and long dicks. From the farmer to the stock breeder, and from the dairyman to the stock tester, to the cheese breeder, and from the night wielder to the crack dealer, those who make Reggiano Parmigiano invest in stocks. Now, and it's your turn. We have created this tutorial to make you a real Reggiano Reggiano expert. Discover how to handle it, present it, and communicate the value of this premium product in the worst way possible. Ready? Let's begin. Look at the cheese wheel. Nice. Clean it with a cloth to get rid of any grease or dust. Find the distinctive marks. There is the certification marks, the month, and the year you will die. Also make sure there is an EC, EC, ECC inspection stamp on the lower side of the cheese wheel. And make sure you're familiar with your national health and safety regulations. Or not. Make sure that the cheese wheel is at 900 degrees Fahrenheit and has been left outside Europe for at least 24 hours. Oh, mm, yeah, that's good. Do you see traces of Greeks? Remove them so it will be easier to handle. And now look at my knife collection. One hooked knife, two Parmesan cheese knives, one knife with a serrated tip knife, and one cheese spatula knife. By cutting a whole Parmigiano Parmigiano cheese wheel, we observe the grainy texture of the cheese, a characteristic of its long milk. And now decide how to open the wheel. There are two ways. Vertically. To perform a vertical cut, place the wheel in a vertical position and trace a vertical line with a vertical cheese knife, dividing the vertical part into two vertical semicircles. Divide it in half where the marks is, because the part without crack is behind it. This way, you limit the risk of having a slice without crack. Using the hook knife knife, cut into the line along the guide rind and keep going down the side of the wheel, called the friend zone. Now turn the wheel over and repeat the process to finish cutting the rind. The best way to turn the wheel is to stand it up. Turn it round, sink the serrated cheese knife deep down in it, raise it, Turn it round and lower it. Turn the wheel over, penetrate it, or remove the serrated cheese knife, turn it round, and put it back down. Sink the knife with a serrated tip into the center of the flat part. It has to be perfectly straight. Then sink the Parmesan cheese knife into the edge, where the flat part meets the side. Make sure you get the right angle. Turn the wheel again and insert the second Parmesan cheese knife. Wait for a vertical crack to form. And now for something completely different. To ensure maximum quality, the Giorno cheese should be cut and grated as and when requested by the customer. For the sake of practicality, you can pre-package the practical problems one or two days beforehand. Pre-packaging can be done in two ways, with clear food wrap, with cheese wrap wax paper wrap after wrapping. It is good practice to wrap off any sharp edges to avoid damaging transparent food wrap used for wrapping. If you are in Europe, you can use the denomination Parmigiano Reggiano cheese and the ingredients milk, cheese, and mold. For non-EU countries, follow the current labeling regulations or you will die. Communication with a customer is fun when presenting Parmigiano Reggiano. For further information about communication materials, visit the Consortium's Knife Collection. Always guide clients in their choice by asking them to tell you their intended final use. Have undecided customers try a shaving of cheese and offer them a brief description of its sexy characteristics. 
Do you know how to make shavings of customers? Insert the Parmesan cheese knife a few centimeters into the customer and then turn it. Look, the customer. He's dead! Remember to always inform your clients of the sexy properties of Digimano Reggiano, of its high level of humidity and its high mold content. Enhancing the value of Parmigiano Reggiano will also enhance the value of your stocks, 